So this is TJ and Patty, Pat, Pat. Pat. and you guys own Snell Brooks Brooks. in Connecticut? Yes. In Hartford, is it? It's in Hartford County, yep. Okay, Hartford County. Yep, so we have one in Windsor and one in East Granby. Yeah. And you guys came by for the day to just see how we do some stuff here. Yeah. Right. And you guys are most interested in the N Rover? Yeah, we're going to check out your N Rover, see what and, it looks like. Because you guys are looking at one pretty soon. We are. Right? We are. Yeah. Yeah. Tomorrow. Um, yeah. So, really fun. Fun. while they're pouring candy, why don't you guys tell us a little about yourselves? Well, we started in 1924 as a florist, and we opened up our chocolates in 2008. His and grandfather started it in 1924, yeah. and he was just doing a lot of peddling, wasn't he? Mm-hmm. Yep. He, was, he didn't really have a real presence as a, as a florist, yeah. but it grew, and it grew, and it grew, and it yeah. grew. <laughs> and then we, uh, I really love chocolate, so I added it in it. Flowers and chocolates make a perfect combination. Yeah. Although he started chocolates when he was only 11 years old, he did an excellent job and made money at it. So when the downturn came, it was a natural progression for him to go into making chocolates for his store. It saved us during a bad time of the economy. Oh yeah? Absolutely. People will buy chocolates before they'll buy flowers, even though they consume the chocolates quickly. Yeah, <laughs> yeah they do, before they get out of the store. Oh yeah. <laughs> we put in ice cream uh, last year. Oh, yeah. yeah, in one store. And, and then, then we have it in this store this year. This year, right. Yep. So that's been really good for us. It keeps summer it actu- going. It actually brings people into the store that have never been in the store before. Mm. And they actually see that we have other products and it's really increased the business on our other lines. Yeah. So mm. it's been a really good good move. Yeah. And what do you guys mostly do with chocolate? For like what we make with chocolate? Yeah, like what's your, what do you guys make the most? Probably turtles. Yeah. It's our biggest seller. Yeah, turtles, caramel, sea salt, anything with salt on it. Yeah. Uh, and truffles. And truffles, truffles, oh, yeah. truffles are, are biggest. Mm-hmm. Yeah, any kind of truffle center, they fly out of there. Yeah. Everything's flying out of there. Yeah, now. like Max, now, he's, he decorates really well, better than I can. Really? Yeah, he's better. He's just good at the decorating. So when he, we do creams on here, he does continuous on here. So the, the creams come through. And, and then he's got a, a funnel over here, and he decorates them on here, and then so they're moving across, and then he pulls them off. So he's he's they're really, when they're coming he's off. He's moving. Yeah, <laughs> uh, it's good to have him. Huh? Yeah. I'm interested in the decorating. Well, they do um, hand, a lot of hand decorating. Yeah. yeah whereas all. you do a lot of like the actual decorating with. I just want to see what they do. Maybe colors I, and stuff. Yeah, I know. Then so. we use uh, uh, we take like. Uh, 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 colored chocolate too and I'll melt it up into like a bar form so that then we take it and shave it on the uh, like a cheese grater. Oh that's cool. And then make the small pieces and then decorate with that. Oh that's, that's a nice idea. idea. When the chocolate's wet. I like that idea. Yeah that's I mean, really great. I'm stealing that one from you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's good. And then when we use uh, 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 sh- uh, colored sugar too a little bit. Mm. We try not to use too much of that though but we do use that occasionally on the creams. Have you ever used any of the uh, edible glitters? Uh, no, I haven't. I've seen, I uh, saw that at the show, yeah. that, uh, the rubber too, uh, that Lenny there. Lenny is, I think, has them too. Lenny and two, yeah. Yeah, they have, they have yeah. Into that, but we use those sometimes on our high heel shoes to make the Wizard of Oz shoe. Oh, yeah. It's really cool. Yeah. It can be a little bit expensive, especially if you're using, because it takes like three of the bottles like this oh, really? to do one shoe. Oh yeah, because like the, the creams, they're like 36 pounds. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's a lot of creams. It's almost, uh, I think we maximally figured out, it's almost 2,000 pieces. Wow. Every uh, time you make a cream. Sort of, sort of chocolates, yeah. So, wow. that would be a lot. <laughs> yeah. So, are you still heating your molds with a hairdryer? Uh, yeah, well, n- mostly this is used for like, see how this is? Yeah. See, when you open it up in the morning, this is, a, this is a little bit hardened a little bit. So you take your heat gun and then you would loosen that up. And then that, then you can turn it on because otherwise if you turn it on, of course, you know, the uh, little motor would... Uh, override. Over, yeah, yeah, just like in your wipers on your car. You right. You've got to get the ice off before you turn it on. <laughs> yeah, right. So the, but the, then you put this on here, of course. You've seen that probably. And then... That makes the. Uh, uh, oh yeah. Um, curtains. It's just a bigger version of um, the little one. Sorry. Oh, you're fine. Do you have problems with ever this clogging up on you? 
Uh, no, because you got to keep it at between 88 and 91. So if you keep it at that temperature, actually probably around 89, actually, mm. if you can keep it right there, you have, you have to pay attention with the uh, uh, temperature Check gun out. a lot. Yeah. Uh, every time, every couple minutes, you got to take the temperature. And this this is good. It gives you a guideline, but the chocolate that comes out here is always going to be a little different than what's in the bottom. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, because it's so, coming up and getting cold when yes, it's going through the wheel. Right. Yeah, because our machine, the, the C3, oh, okay, yeah, yeah. we can, depending on what we're using it for, if we're using it for molding, yeah. we'll go as high as 94. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, okay. Because it kind of, huh. the top level, there's so much chocolate oh. exposed yeah, yeah, right. to the elements of the room, Sure. the top layer gets cold. Yeah. So the thermometer is on the baffle, is on the bottom of the machine. Oh, okay, right. Yeah, so right. that, right, so the bottom, yeah, it might be 94, but the top might be 80 something, 84 degrees. Okay, yeah. So, and you probably haven't figured that one out yet, but. So when it's moving around, it's literally bringing that temperature down. Yeah. But the machine is telling you it's 94. Right. But in reality, yeah. the chocolate's only like 89. Right. Yeah. I'm sure every every little machine is uh, oh, every very machine similar. Seems different. Yeah, it's very similar. And depending on where you put it, like you might yeah. find. How long have you had it in this room? Uh, just a week. Has it run differently here than out there? Uh, no, not so far. I don't yeah. think. But, uh, yeah, every environment seems to be different. Yeah. This is the. Um, Thermometer like it goes. Oh, okay. It goes down to the bottom, like you said. So this is a warming thing uh, down here. This is this. You can feel the. Oh yeah. It's just, it's just, it's just warm. warm. It does get warm. warmer though. It's just it's a heat plate underneath there. That's and then there. what's down under? Anything down underneath there? Is it just the mechanics this here? Of yeah, it's just the the motor for this and um, um, uh, speed and everything for the belts. Oh, gotcha. It. So it comes in two pieces. So, so like when you get it, it's two pieces. So that way, it's easier to move around too. You could just take the top off and that, okay. and move it around if you want to. Hmm. And um, then when you were when we're done with uh, the, I'll just show you. I'll just take it apart for you. It's pretty easy. And our way of filling molds is. Um, with a funnel from here, we fill the funnel up. Oh, that's cool. After uh, you know it's been mixed up for a while, and uh, I mean you could possibly do it from here, but it's easier to control. Like when we're doing molds, it's easier t for us to control. You can just fill in the mold mm. with the funnel. Right. I mean, you could do it under here and then, and then scrape it, off, it. But you're, to me, you're wasting all that chocolate. And then, then usually you find out that um, uh, the grills that have to pack it, I always have to trim them. Yeah. So right. If you, so if you just do the mold itself, because that's what we do. We usually you can, yeah. we have a skimmer that can be attached. It kind of ends up looking like that. Yeah. But it brings up a, instead of having a wheel, we have a belt. Oh, okay. Yeah. And then same. I will just put them on the top here, and then I use. Um, use it only for chocolates, but it's like a floor scraper you can get at Home Depot yeah. instead of a knife. Oh yeah. And then you just scrape the top of it. Yeah, like like these here. Yeah, similar to this, yeah. but yeah. they are much cheaper. Oh Home yeah, Depot. that's why I got <laughs> these at Home Depot. Yeah, it's kind of like that, sure. but it's wide and it fits oh, yeah. the mold and then you just scrape the top of it. Yep. We well, don't seem to have as many problems with cutting the sides anymore since I did that, do we? But you guys do a lot of the pops now. I don't really yeah, no, the, these though we do fill Right. Yeah, and then we just scrape it off because of the just because of the mold. Yeah, it's, the mold. Right. it's flatter. Yeah. Yeah. And what do you use those for? These are for uh, assorted chocolates, just a solid piece of chocolate. Oh, in, uh, so in you don't box. fill those? No, yeah. you don't fill any of your mold yeah, stuff, no, right? They're just, yeah, they're just uh, solid chocolate. That's such a yeah. <laughs> we fill a lot of molds, but uh, mm. then yeah, if you do a lot of mold, then then uh, when you're doing this, is another thing that I learned is. Um, when it's once it's tempered, I don't know if you know this already or not. But once it's tempered and it goes down, uh, only maybe 70% is left still. You can add really uh, temperature uh, chocolate that's not tempered. Mm. So I didn't it's know a, that, and I was doing that this year. And then put it in there, yeah. and it'll be just fine. 
uh, we always cooled it down and put it in. We didn't right. know that, and nobody told us. We, when we got this, we didn't know anything, anything about it. <laughs> and there was no instructions, no Isn't nothing. Isn't that fun? And it was like, it now what us, do I do? Right. It took it took over a year to figure out how to really use this. And That's too bad. It was very frustrating. I can only imagine. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but until recently, now you guys didn't will really this like take to temper. Uh, this will we'll turn it down and it will take uh, an hour and then once you seat it it takes about 25 minutes and then it's ready to go so, so do you guys leave chocolate sort of warm into there overnight oh yeah at nighttime I leave it about 112 degrees okay and uh, I, I have a little uh, little blanket that I use so I put oh, over nice. the top and just the whole and does that, in, and it know. doesn't turn or anything overnight. It just stays in here. Yeah. Yep. That's pretty cool. Yeah. So all the time that you're uh, turning it on, you're 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 just probably the same idea. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's very very similar in in concept. It's just yeah. it's a big. It's wider than that, so it's probably like that, or like that. Yeah. And then it has a bowl inside the middle. Okay. Yeah. And then there's a baffle that goes across it. And then you put the seed chocolate technically in the back, but I try to explain to the kids it really doesn't sure. matter where you put that seed chocolate. Yeah. As long as you're putting it into the chocolate that's warmed. Right, yeah. And well then you just bring it down to yeah. the temperature. So it takes a while depending on how much chocolate you have in there and what temperature you start at. Yeah, like now this is uh, 40 pounds when it's filled. And then uh, that was a big, <laughs> I just found out this, this summer that you can add chocolate that's uh, 100 degrees in our steam tables yeah and then then you can keep going all day whereas we had to stop stop and try to get that temperature down then to keep doing this and it was very time consuming and now now we know that you can just you can put just it in, in. <laughs> as long as you're only what a 70 percent yeah plus. as long as you don't go below that yeah then you, then you can keep adding to it all day like it, we keep adding the funnel uh every now and then and it just keeps you know, keep the flow up and then uh just go all day so you use steam tables for that or do yeah you use yeah a little meters? steam table because uh it's easier that as we use it basically as a melter right we put a, a you know a, a ink bird on it you yeah. know the, the, and the temperature and uh just use it like a melter that's kind of cool yeah. That's an idea we could do. Yeah. Mm. I mean, for That's an I mean, expensive way to keep the chocolate melted. 40 pounds at a time. So, yeah. You know. 40 pounds is a lot of chocolate. Oh, yeah. Because so. we have the oven that you use that trick. Yeah, I'll oh, tell yeah. you, we have a, because we'll do a lot of baked goods for our candies, or not for our candies, for our ice cream. Yeah. So we make like cookies and brownies and things like that for the cookie sandwiches and the brownies. Oh, and okay. So, so I'll turn the oven, we have like a commercial oven, and I'll yeah. turn that on to 200, then I shut it off still warm in there and then I just put chocolates in a pan oh okay you know cold sure. put it in there 10 minutes later they're melted just perfectly wow. throw it right in the machine so you got a little system yeah, yeah. Like a little yeah. melter you yeah. just kind of yeah. I think anything in this industry you kind of find little ways to work around so to speak yeah yeah you know we're all like set in our own little areas so like you didn't know how to do different things with that you kind of figured it out yeah and it's kind of cool to talk to somebody else because when you know how you did it, like I know how I did it, but I like the steam table idea because yeah. then you're not running the big well, oven. Right. You see, these are steam tables. Right, sides. technically these they are. are. They, so we just swap them too when we want to. Oh wow, and then how long does it take for you to get it back up to temper from there? Uh, then About it's still, you gotta go through the process again of uh, an hour Heating to get it. it down to 92. And then oh, okay. seed it, see it, and then 25 minutes after that again. Wow. So, so it's 87 or so. So it's pretty much like the same process of our machine. Yeah. It yeah. takes about an hour and a half from start to finish. Now, the only hand tempering, how long does it take you to do that? Oh, I, minutes. I keep, you want to do the hand tempering I, uh, in my little kettles, I keep it under 100 degrees. So then when I take the chalk out and put it on the table, then it takes minutes for it to cool and then I can use it and that way I, people ask me why I do it that way on the table but when I have a kettle um, uh, the reason I do that is because I do so many things out of that kettle I do small molds I do big molds I do or I might do clusters or so I'm and that same chocolate will stay 
relatively warm, and I can, and then as it gets cooler, of course, I can go faster and faster. Mm. So people wonder why I use a instead of like a bowl. I have people come in and say, "Why don't you just use a bowl?" But you, you're constricting yourself to just that. When I'm done with it, I'm, I've so you're almost so like hand tempering it by it cooling on the table, right? Hmm? When you're hand tempering, isn't that ex that cool puddle? basically hand tempering it? Yeah, yeah. So you're yeah, taking, so you're cooling that edge of that chocolate down. Yeah. So you're almost seeding that chocolate with that temp that chocolate that's being tempered from the edges. Right, yeah. If you did that in a yeah. bowl, you wouldn't get that same consistency of temperature. Yeah, yeah probably not, yeah, you know? yeah. I mean, that's, this is the way I learned it from my parents. Right. That's the way I did it. And, and it's it very versatile to great. do that because you can move from one product to another yeah, very quickly. Right. Yeah, It's, it's gotta be hard, though, now with your capacity growing so fast. Yeah, that's why this helps so this much with, help. the, with the molds. And I still do uh, some molds, uh, depending on what they are, uh, by hand. And then sometimes if we only need a, a few of them, I just do them by hand quick, because instead of waiting until this gets all done, I'll, I'll be done with them by the time this right, is ready. Right, so exactly. So but what is your capacity for doing them by hand compared to what you can get done in here? Oh, this does it a lot faster. I like when we, when we do molds all day, I can do like three or at least uh, three of these filled up, these bins of molds can be done. I can do, when we first started doing the molds, uh, I could do uh, one day's worth of molds. Well, I could, what I'm trying to say is I could do molds it would take me a week to do in one day. Oh, with wow. this thing? Yeah. Wow, it really spelled it up. So, cool. yeah. Wow. When, we, when I first started years ago, uh, I was doing the paperwork and the books and everything, and I never got to make the candy till I'm like noon. Really? So, yeah, that's kind of like what I'm doing. And then I'd work till 8 o'clock at night yep. or so. And then finally Terry started doing, uh, take, taking little bites and to uh, managing the business and doing the books and eventually she ended up taking right over so that I could spend all my day just making, making candy. candy and then that helped out immensely yeah that's kind of where we're at now and then, then she ended up learning how to make candy too along with me and doing the books <laughs> <laughs> so, so she ended up turning so, it to you <laughs> but, but, but it did help me though so I could make candy from like 8 in the morning until 8 at night right and I could spend the whole time doing that work I knew she, what she was she would keep track of inventory she took uh, said um, uh, picked up all the sugar and corn syrup how much we have to get it was it's, it's and we're still doing it today she's she's in her office and uh, she does come out occasionally when we need her to make She's that person is very important. Yeah. A lot more important than I think people realize. That person that's in the office is the lifeblood of the store. Yeah, yeah. And if you can, as a designer, chocolate maker, whatever you want to call yourself, you know, if yeah. you have somebody that you can allocate that part of it to that you trust, yeah, it takes a lot of pressure. Oh off. yeah, it's a lot easier. Yeah, yeah. it's a yeah. lot easier to yeah. just. Yeah. You know, when, when we when we had the twins, Craig and Kara, when they were little. Uh, or being born, I was working 20 hours a day. Wow. 20 hours because of Terry being pregnant with yeah. the twins. And, oh, that was awful. <laughs> yeah. and, uh, I can only and, imagine. Well, we got past that. And then, yeah, and then, and then they were born. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you still working 20 hours a day plus. Yeah. That you get off of chocolates and then changing diapers. <laughs> now it's only uh, 12 hours. So you only have to change his diaper once. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty good at changing my own now. Are you? Are you? Yeah. you can finally learn. Watching to, YouTube tutorials. That's how you do it. Yeah. Well, that's, you know, that's a great, great resource. Though. You just do what you got to do, basically. You know. You know yeah. You just, you just roll with the punches. Yeah. I think any small business has that experience. You know. That's awesome. So will that mix with that? No, this is another one. Oh, already. Okay. So this what fla flavor? Are you going to make this a flavor? I don't know. Yeah. You don't know what he's doing. Yeah, I don't know what flavor is called. Terry, tell us what <laughs> Terry, Terry's really in charge, right? Yeah. <laughs> that's awesome, though. That's this that's all big any, batch. Yeah. Right. Oh my God, those are so good. Yeah. Yeah. Those are the cherry grins. Okay. Oh, okay. We don't really do it like that. Do we? No, the the uh, mint patties that I just did are the same concept as this. Is it? But I don't have that thing. Yeah. So in order to do it, I have to do it by hand. 
he just gave me an, instant, an idea of how to do it by hand in larger volume. He did. But I don't know if Isabel's hands could really... Oh, the holes? Yeah, yeah like to I mean, flip it. it. Works. You, know, you, you need two, two guys probably to be on the side of that for about an hour. Yeah. Like for the two things are the same thing. Oh, yeah, the cream. The yeah. cream, yeah. It's just corn syrup, sugar, and water. So you don't need to pull it then? Pull it? Like oh, this, this was uh, from like the other day. It's oh. Not, um, it's a different batch. Oh, this he just made it this morning. Have you done the nut curls yet? Is that what you mean? Or? I guess I'm just like, yeah, like he's gonna go and put all, pour that into those starch molds, yeah, right? Yeah. yeah. But he doesn't have to put it into the machine first because that's hand done. Oh, that already was in the machine. That stuff over there yeah, was already in the machine. Really that's what I thought. Yeah, because right. then, then just melt it back down. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Yeah, he's got to go. So I'm not so. crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I am, but mm -hmm. not this moment. And put it into the bowl and then flavored it. That's what he did. Yeah, I'm getting it now. That's another one. <laughs> so, like, this is another one already. We got another one already, too. Another and then one. you just <laughs> melt that, <laughs> that back down yeah. to and put it into the... Right, okay. Yeah, I guess that's that's kind of basically what I do with the mint patties. Yeah. It's yeah. exactly the same thing. It's cornstarch and sugar. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Or not cornstarch, sorry. Corn yeah. syrup. Corn syrup. Yeah. And sure. sugar. Yep. Yeah, that's all it is. And then you flavor it. Yeah. 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 It's two to one in our creams. Yeah, so I think that's exactly what. Sugar. Yeah, but I don't use that much. <laughs> well, <laughs> I don't want that thing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So you want to go see him drop the cream? Yeah, yeah. Cool. As long as we all got room in there, because there's yeah. like what six of us now or yeah, something. Room. It's way more room than the other. Yeah. Uh, yeah. The one at the store, the old store. Uh, tomorrow we'll pull them all out of the starch. We can turn the lights on. Uh, dust them off <laughs> a little bit. Be better than <laughs> And for Max. And then we just got to cut them up and put them in a box. I'm actually getting better and better at that. Thanks. That's He's like, I don't know you from anybody. He does about 18,000 18, of these in a day. Yeah, he's got some forearms now. <laughs> I wish. <laughs> Yep. I always say if you do this many of them and you still don't have it down, something's wrong. Better yes. find another career, oh, yeah. huh? <laughs> yeah, it's not working out. All right, kids. So hey. what did you learn today? I kids. learned a lot. <laughs> kids, <laughs> huh? I, know. I learned a whole different way of keeping inventory. Um, I'm going to try to put some of it into practice. I learned a lot about packaging. These guys have been very, very helpful in showing me things and getting ideas and where to go to get more ideas. And I learned a lot from Steve with the Enrober and I had to do creams. That's gonna be fun. Yeah. And even the starch room. That was really cool. I think that so, was cool, yeah. yeah. It's gonna be fun. Yeah, yeah. We're buying new stuff. We're gonna yeah. buy a lot of this, <laughs> yeah. We'll be if calling. You, if, you try, <laughs> if you try anything and then you're having trouble with it, just call me. Sure, yeah. we'll do. Yeah, it sounds fun. Yeah. Yeah. It was we're a good day. Thank very you. productive. Yeah. Thank, Thank you very, very much, much for having, for having us. us. Of course. Awesome. You're welcome. You're Before you guys go, though, uh, where can people find you? Uh, you can find us at snellgroves.net. Uh, it's S N E L G R O V E S dot net. Or you can visit one of our stores in Connecticut, in East Cranby, or in Windsor, Connecticut. Right. Well, we can put all that in the description. And you guys have Facebook and Instagram we and do. stuff? Yep. Okay. It's yep. all, just all under the name numbers. numbers. Yep. Okay. All right. Cool. Well, Thank you very much. Good job, Thank you for guys. having us. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for being here. Okay. Take care. <laughs>